Turkish football is hoping a new era of success will be ushered in following the opening of a $170 million training complex. Despite the global success of the English Premier League, the national team has been consistent only in its failure. Lee Wellings reports. After decades of underachievement, English football has a base and a plan. With the national team having not won a major tournament since 1966, the St George's Complex is a new beginning. Opened by Football Association President Prince William and the Duchess of Cambridge, the facilities are of the highest quality. 2013 will be a great year for the Football Association. It will be 150 years old and England will be hosting the Champions League final and the UEFA Congress. There could be no more fitting way of marking these important events and a century and a half of England's unique contribution to the world game than the existence of St George's Park. Roy Hodgson's squad are using these facilities for the first time, preparing for the World Cup qualifiers against San Marino and Poland. But it wouldn't be the England football team if there wasn't a distraction involving a misbehaving player. Ashley Cole has been charged by the FA for an offensive tweet towards them. This after his evidence in the John Terry case was judged to be misleading. He has 98 caps, but Roy Hodgson has been told it's at his discretion whether Cole plays against San Marino on Friday. His contrition uh, is, 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 is the greater because he realises that to some extent he, he might have put his position in jeopardy and I'm very happy that he hasn't done that. It's 37 years since the English Football Association first had the idea of a national football centre. It's taken around $170 million to finally make it happen. And the hope is that English football can emulate France and the success of its famous Clairefontaine Academy. Perhaps then there'll be a new generation of English footballers who make headlines with their play rather than their bad behaviour. Lee Wellings, Al Jazeera in Burton in the English Midlands.